Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're back in Skyblock. And guys, I'm actually really, really excited about today's video, guys. So if you haven't seen yet, in the last video, we built ourselves a carrot, or not carrot, what am I saying? An onion farm that literally has the ability to break the item limit. But guys, because I built that, I don't need this farm here anymore. You see, guys, I made this previous farm, which is still an incredible farm, but slightly worse, I guess, because this one doesn't really like, well, it does, but it doesn't allow you to break the item limit. But I mean, I recommend checking out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But guys, Guys, today, I wanted to build something that is going to allow me to really further myself in building in this game, guys. If you don't know yet, I mean, I'm Jesse DC, and I build a lot. I play a lot of build about I play a lot of other building games in the in general, and uh, I haven't really done all that much building here. I've really only done, I mean, this right here, this house, uh, to be honest. Like, that's the only nice thing I've really built. So, what I thought is, what about we tear down these two farms right here, and instead of what we have right now, which is kind of... Like, I don't really love it that, that much. We're gonna build something really sick, okay? We're gonna build ourselves factory. We're gonna make a factory that produces blocks and building materials and, in general, really a farm that is kind of centered around making stuff for me to build with. So, we're gonna start, get started tearing all this stuff down right here. I'm gonna quickly time-lapse it for you guys. Hope you'll have a fun time. Let's... Alright guys, so we just got everything finally cleared out. It actually took way longer than I expected it to, but I, I wonder, what did you guys think of the new time-lapse style? I, I don't know, I tried something different. I wonder if you guys liked it or not. But without further ado, guys, I think it's about time for us to start working on our factory. So pretty much, guys, I want to make an, a block factory. So the things that I really want to mine is, or not mine, uh, collect is uh, this block right here, which is iron. This block right here, which is stone brick. Harf is like these bricks as well. And I also just in general want to get myself some clay because I think that's all, all around just a good thing to have so guys this is the selection of blocks that i really want to produce in this farm as you guys can see it's four different materials so guys the way i'm gonna do this guys i've done the math i'm gonna make a four by four so i'm total in total i'm gonna have 16 smelters or something hooked up it's gonna be pretty crazy so guys i'm gonna be harvesting every single one of these blocks which is gonna be crazy so guys the way i'm thinking about laying this out here actually you know what most important these guys always work off the ground it is gonna be the biggest pain in the butt if you gotta go down and you can't go down okay just a little heads up for you guys so let's say we start working on this level on this height all right so guys for uh iron we need an industrial smelter so guys the way was i th i was thinking about doing this is for example going like this right industrial smelter here 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 and here well these are not like like i want to do them vertically right so it's iron stone brick brick and then clay that actually takes up a lot less space than i thought it would for some reason here let's look at let, let's, let's look at the height okay so if we want to build up wait no this oh okay okay wait we need we need more blocks in between we need more blocks okay i'm doing the math wrong entirely this is horrible okay boom 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 yeah that was more like what i was thinking about yeah okay so this is about the size we're gonna need, which looks about right like this, actually. This doesn't look all that much off. So guys, not all of these blocks are gonna actually require us to use industrial smelters. So I know that iron and stone brick require industrial smelters, like so. Here, let's so. And then the, 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 the new stone brick, we can use this thing called an industrial stone cutter, guys. I've already made one. This thing is stupid expensive, okay? So pretty much the only way you can get yourself one of these is either by trading or by spending one of these new things. What do you call them? A buffalo, a buffalo cathar crystal. So expensive. So hard to get. We're gonna need three more. <laughs> Boom. But yeah, that's the industrial stone cutter right there. Looking nice. Looking good. And then, of course, guys, regular clay actually does not require any sort of, uh, whatchamacallit, thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, smelter. All right, so guys, we've already figured out that the most efficient way to do this is with, like, I think 10 totems? So I think it should look a little something like this. All right, so guys, I got some people messaged in my Discord about the buffalo cathar crystals. And uh, I I'm gonna try buying uh, some of them. <laughs> All right, so guys, this the guy that just joined the server apparently has one and is willing to sell it. He said, we will negotiate, which uh, I think that's good. All right, he sent us an invite. <laughs> All right, guys, the no let the negotiation begin. I offer $400,000. Can you give like SS30K? 30,000 gold? I just I just said 400,000. I'm so bad at this. Dude, last time I paid a million. Bro. Uh, bleh. yeah. Okay, I'll say uh, 100K and you. I said 100K and you'll have a deal. Dude, I feel bad, man. I, I just offered him 400K. <laughs> he said, whoa, sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm bad at this, man. <laughs> All right, let's get this man his money. <laughs> and a boom. All right, I'll take the crystal. Oh, wait, no, no, that's onion seeds. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> he's like, bro, I got scammed. Okay, there it is. 100,000 100, gold. Awesome. Thank you so much, man, for giving me the crystal. Okay, now we just need two more. Guys, I'll do those off camera real quick. I'll be back with you all in one second, okay? <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm getting another one right here. Woo! Uh, I said I'll give you 100k, and he said 10 onions, please. So I'll give him 10 onions. He's not picking up the money. He's literally refusing to pick up the money. Um, I guess uh, I guess that'll do it. <laughs> what? Well, I guess I'm giving the next guy 200,000, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if he doesn't want it. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay. I don't know how to destroy stuff in VR. <laughs> He's in VR. What? Bro, can I just say, man? Everyone has such a nice base, man. My base is kind of slacking, man. It's... Uh, where are we going? He's in... Bro Looking at someone in VR is the weirdest thing. There you go. Doing a good job. <laughs> Down here. Ah, crap. That made me motion sick. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing, man? <laughs> All right. He can't access the chest. <gasps> oh, he's going to give me... Oh, I see. All right, guys. We got the smelters and everything we need now. So let's get to work man so guys what i was thinking actually is i want to use the easiest to break block possible because guys one thing that we have all realized is that it's really dumb to run all of your farms at once so guys you know currently i have the the onion farm actually stopped so that way you know i'm gonna be able to build, build this and afk grind this tonight but yeah guys it's definitely important to make it easy as possible to actually disable your farm like it's really important so that way the server also doesn't lag too much there's not too many items going around it's all around a better time all right so this is where the totems are gonna go on these clay blocks this is where the collect collection system is going to be put in place. So guys, what I'm actually planning to do is I'm first of all going to build the insides and then I'm actually going to build the outside. So that way we can perfectly custom fit the outside or oh, like around the inside, if that makes sense. So that way everything is perfect, <laughs> like a perfect fit, like a glove. So guys, if I built everything vertical, that's how tall it would be. Does that look about right? I don't know. That feels a little bit big almost. No, that looks right. That looks good. Yeah, that's a good height. That's looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go in like this, get all the clay in place. So guys, if you're building along at home, I mean, it's really not rocket science. I think pretty much everyone at this point understands how to build a pretty decent uh, iron or anything block related farm because they're not as nearly as complicated as the other ones. So yeah, pretty much uh, if you're copying this design should be very, very simple, very straightforward. All right, this is looking really good. Oh yeah. All right, so guys, for every nine normal totems, we're going to use two coal totems. So guys, if I put two coal totems like coal totems like this right here, should be perfect. Oh wait, we got to put the conveyors in place as well. Oops. But actually, we don't need a coal totem here. Lol, never mind. <laughs> all right, clay totem. We got to buy all the totems right here real quick. All right, there goes almost all my money. <laughs> wow. I didn't think it would be that expensive, but it's going to be worth it, guys. Trust. I know it's going to be worth it. <gasps> I hope. <laughs> all right. We're going to just place our totems nice and easy, just like so. That should be perfect, man. All right. So this one's going to get iron totems, like so. Boom. And then, oh, this is exciting. We're finally going to get ourselves a stone brick setup. Oh my God. Finally. The moment of truth has finally come. All right. That's one layer done, guys. I'm going to just do this exact same thing uh, three more times. And uh, yeah, three more times. And then I'll see you all in one minute. Okay. All right, guys. So I've got all the layers built right now. And dude, this thing is pumping out blocks like crazy, man. Like, keep in mind, guys, that like, you know, we're working with smelter here. So there's a pretty strong limit on how fast things can be. But still, there is so much stuff coming through. It's actually crazy, guys. We got four layers. We got four things. So different blocks and things. I actually thought to myself, maybe I will actually do this here. I thought about maybe adding regular stone into the mix as well. But uh, I'm not sure yet. I don't even know if I care to really farm regular stone because I got 11,000 of it. Uh, well, mm, I want to expand my islands one day. So you know what? This is the idea, by the way, guys. It's a lot easier and faster to break like this. So that way you just quickly break four blocks versus having to hit every single thing two times like that. Let's get some stone in here. <laughs> you know, I should have to get some more. So I got some more now. Woo! And guys, what's actually really, really nice about this uh, this whole thing right here, guys, you know, it constantly happens that you start working on a certain project and you go like, you know what? I really kind of want to, you know, build, let's say, a castle. And I need an absolute crap ton of, uh, let's say, stone or like, uh, you know, regular, what do you call them? Like, uh, yeah, stone bricks. What you can actually do is you can just replace every totem and uh, replace some other things and easily just turn this into a literal, like, other farm, like, entirely. Like, it's super adaptable and it's super flexible, which is kind of what makes it super nice. And that is why I... I decided to actually build it because I don't like a farm that is not flexible, guys. I have far too many times gone. Oh, I need to change this thing or I need to change that thing. And I literally can't because the farm isn't really that flexible, but uh, this one is. So it's really nice, so guys. I can literally change out all of the totems with different things and very quickly and very easily because I've got everything built 
salt and clay, which is just gonna be super nice. Yeah, guys, I think the final thing left to do is to actually make sure that not all the items drop into and uh, fall off and all that. So let's quickly get that set up. That should be super easy and super quick. Guys, I'm pretty sure if I literally add one layer of glass paint all the way to the top like this, in front of every single one of these, it should, should actually almost be enough. Uh, we might need like a little bit of a thunnel at the bottom, but really this, got, this is gonna look a lot nicer and thinner. All right, that should be that. Boom. Let's see, does everything fall down perfectly? Yes, it does. Okay, so all we got, all, all we're gonna have to do right here is just place uh, one block here, one block here, one block there, and one block there. So now nothing can fall out anymore. That's just perfect, man. All right, let's do this for all of them. Dude, this is so exciting, man. Tonight, guys, I'm gonna go AFK with this farm right here, and I'm gonna see how many blocks I can actually get. So I don't really know what the best way to actually see this is because I already got so many of the blocks. So I'm probably just gonna have to write down all the numbers of all of the different things I already have uh, just so we can see how much new stuff came in. All right, let's get this all done right here real quick. Perfect. Dude, I just can't wait to go AFK on this thing, man. This thing is gonna be so efficient. All right, guys, with that, I think the entire farm is actually completed. So I think there's not really any items falling out anymore. At least I hope there's not, guys. There's gonna be a couple random items like iron ore or whatever is that, whatever it is that's gonna fall out, but it's all gonna happen before it like gets smelted. So, like all the smelted stuff will actually like work. And then you literally see a smelted thing fall out. Great. Uh, might have to place a block right here. <laughs> but yeah, guys, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go AFK all night. I'm gonna see how much I can actually get from this farm. And then, guys, in the next video, guys, I'm actually gonna build a beautiful factory around this thing. And I'm gonna make this like a, like a serious thing. Like this is gonna be a centerpiece of the of our world. So guys, where our, 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 our like our houses and our life is gonna be where. And that's where our indu industrial stuff is gonna be. It's gonna be super nice, guys. Let's get AFK farming. I don't see you all in a minute. Okay, so let's see how fast this is actually going. I'm curious. Dude, there is a constant flow of items right here. Like, this is a constant flow. This is really good. I'm excited to see what I'm gonna get all night, guys. I'll be back with you all in the morning. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so we just finished a whole night of being AFK, guys. I just woke up. It's in the morning right now, guys. Look at this. We've been AFK for 10 hours, and guys, I think this might very well be one of the fastest and most efficient farms in the game. Like, there is almost always an item, if not multiple, in the farm. This is crazy. I've never seen that before, like with any other farm. All right, guys, as you can see right here, I mean, I just stopped the AFK farm, but as you can see, if I keep clicking, there's many, many, many more items to come. Pretty much, let's see how many blocks we all got, guys. So I actually jotted down real quick how much I had, and it's pretty much 300 hundred of all of the three of those things exact except like like regular stone which i don't really care to have regular stone anyway so i'm probably gonna remove that from the farm sometime but uh yeah pretty much uh this is the result so let me look through here slowly scroll down we got now forty thousand stone which is pretty good Thirty thousand iron that is great because i want to use iron as a building material guys and so sometime soon i'll probably upgrade this farm to be just iron because you need a ton of iron to actually you know craft the block yeah you need 10 iron for a single block still three thousand blocks though pretty good let's see twenty thousand bricks Oh, wow. 29,000 stone brick and 12,000 clay. That is incredible, guys. For the record, guys, I think that will literally be enough stone brick, clay, everything to last me the duration of me continuing to play this game, okay? That is how crazy that is. And let me explain to you guys why that is, guys. There is a block limit, how many blocks you can place, of like 50,000, I think the number is. Like, like I think it's like exactly 50,000. So if I place 50,000 blocks, I cannot place blocks anymore. So there is no reason to have more than 50,000 blocks. So I think we have officially have everything like as much as we could need it for our farms has have sufficiently done that for us now that's great the only thing i still need is grays how much could i sell the stone for actually curious Eighty-one thousand. that's pretty good it's iron One hundred eighty thousand. that's great you know what actually i won't buy this grass right now guys i'm just gonna end off today's video guys if you haven't already like the video and please guys if you are enjoying the series subscribe to this channel guys um working very hard to get these videos out to you guys especially like every single day which is kind of you know is a lot so please if you would would be nice if you could subscribe for me okay okay i'll see you on the next one boys peace out everyone and uh, bye-bye.